gotta work, gotta do cardio, kill two birds with one stone, and a little, this is like, I think this is an eating tray for a hospital bed. It is. That's what this is, right? But they don't make anything specifically for what what I need. So you gotta innovate. This is what we got here, it's pretty sweet. It's pretty convenient. Honestly, it distracts me from even doing cardio. 45 minutes just flew by. I was just writing protocols. You gotta find the time to do work when you're in prep because it's very busy, very hectic, very tired. So, I'm already doing something. Might as well get the other thing done if I can, which I can now. So. Stage for two seconds. That's true. I've never actually seen them hold people on stage. Yeah, I only see them hold people on stage on like pro shows and like Olympia. It's always like a rush. Yeah. It's like I don't even know how they see. Actually, it. Universe, at Universe, they held people on stage. Really? Yeah. What are you gonna do? Do you have to get I figure we just pick her up on the way. Today, going down to New York to go see Phil. I'm gonna train him a little bit of chest over there. I'm gonna go over some posing with him. See how I'm looking. I'm about a week and a half out now. I mean, the 28th. So, oh, I'm gonna go drive down there. Two hour drive there, two hour drive back. So, nothing else really going on. Same shit, different day. Prep, getting closer day by day. We leave for Texas in less than a week. Smooth sailing. Did you pack all your meals like a responsible bodybuilder? Pack the meals? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm packing them. All the meals are packed. She's packing them. I'm the assistant. Thank you, Marissa. Mm hmm It's team effort. We're in this together. Beyond every great bodybuilder, an even better woman. No, that's a slay. Shut the fuck up. What the <laughs> fuck? You can't just say that. Which one you didn't say that? Locked in. Touchdown in New York. I'm gonna go see Phil. Eat my pre workout meal. And we're gonna head to. Ew! Motherfucker. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, that had to come out. <laughs> oh. Fix it in post. Do like dumbbell or barbell, but I'm not gonna. I haven't been doing that the past like couple weeks. With machines, uh, so pec deck, chest fly machines. But all the gyms by me, those all suck. I need one that is a super skinny back. Well, they have probably five or six variants here, so yeah. you'll have your choice. Yeah, so chest fly, just any, uh, usually just like one fly and two presses right now. We'll do a little more volume today. Gym sick. A lot of shit in here. We're gonna have to move here just to train here. <laughs> These are the gyms that I like. Old school, old equipment, none of that arsenal strength garbage bullshit. It's a good gym. They have the old school shit, I like it. There's a lot of shit in here. More shit than I probably have seen in any other gym I've been to, honestly. Uh, so, you got a good push workout in. Let's see, 
try some new pieces of equipment here, see what they got got going on for today's push workout. scientific support on basically they call what they call your game face like put your game face on because put yourself in the right state of mind can actually affect your neural activity nervous system activation right. yeah absolutely so you so people like say you don't need to grunge in the gym but it's like when you run it's like it's like you become like i just feel like animalistic especially like when you're alone absolutely. and you're in the zone it's like i feel like i'm like fucking an animal and it's like it's like when you, if somebody externally you're on a football team they're screaming at you it's like you do that to yourself yeah because you have to create that own environment people think that activation or your, your your level of effort or abilities are just on or off no there's a scale to it yeah. so, you, don't, you don't need to scream like that exactly it helps. exactly so that's why when people like people always make jokes about power lifters getting smacked before before a lift that's gonna put weight on your lift yeah one thousand percent that's gonna put weight on your lift yeah so that's why I have those videos for potentiating warming up. And make, yeah, bro. Good to see you. Good to see you, brother. So that's, that's why I have all those videos about potentiating warming up and everything. Because if you do it the right way and you approach it the right way, you're going to get more out of yourself. So you're going to get a better stimulus. You're going to get better results. You're just going to be stronger. It helps you do it. Absolutely. Yeah. So when people are... When people always train me, they always say like, oh, I get, I told you this, they get stronger because of the press. It's not the pressure. It's because we warmed up properly. We activated properly. We did everything the right way. And we... Tar we, we aimed our aggression, we targeted aggression yeah. towards the sets, and that makes a huge difference. But I think that also, I think that has to do with the type of person and really like why, because they say like all body was to be a successful, successful bodybuilder, like something's like usually wrong with you mentally. It's like psychologically, like you are aggressive, like you feel like you have like this, this like, I don't know, like uh, adversity or like this fucking hurt you go through, like, like that drives you in the gym. Like there's times where I'm in the gym and I get like literally like emotional. And I feel like a lot of people don't experience that, and they, that's why they can't relate to like that aggressive. Well, that can also feels. be related to dopamine and neural drive and adrenaline and things like that. But well, all of that is good. Dopamine is what's responsible for motivation. Uh, adrenaline is going to be what's responsible for more uh, activation and more performance. So it's good if you can turn those things on. Back when I used to compete, people would think like like I had Tourette's or something was wrong with me. You would see me walking around the gym like on a leg day or something, and I'm gritting my teeth, I'm making faces, like my, I'm like. I feel like I have like a tick about me. I'll be like tapping myself. I'll be walking in circles. I'll be doing shit like this. People are like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with him? And I'm just preparing myself for the set. Because now you know the threshold. Like, absolutely. Like, you thought you were failing, but you've done this, so you know you're not really close to what you're capable of you doing. You gotta learn in this game to not limit yourself. Yeah. A lot of people will limit themselves, and like, they'll look at a weight or look at a set, and this is what I do. Like, they'll, they'll, they'll convince themselves they can't do it right away. Yeah. And You've got to show yourself enough times and prove to yourself enough times. Like, get out of a set and be like, wow, I just impressed myself. I got nine reps. I thought I was only going to get seven. So every time you do that, reinforce that. Stop and acknowledge it. Celebrate it. Make sure you remind yourself that all of these times, I had no idea I was going to be able to do that. And I did. So that tells you every time you go into a set, okay, I think this is what I can do, but let's try to beat it. Yeah. Because you might be able to. Yeah, so you always, always try to get the most out of it every Go, time. Control. Go. <clears throat> Go. <clears throat> it's pretty easy. Step down. I, I told you we we're probably going to pin a plate. It's pretty fucking easy. Yeah. You'll probably have to pin a plate. Actually, I wonder if I have my thing in the car. Let me go look real quick. Check it. Too strong for the whole stack. A week and a half out. A good sign, I guess. Count it. Hut. The control. Control. Come on, control. Again, control. Again, control. Hold it, squeeze, bring it down slow.
Yes! Patrol! Keep right. going! Yes! Come on! Yep! Keep going! Yes! One more! So, you just added 80 pounds and doubled the reps. How did that happen? Fucking, fucking lizard. Prove it to yourself. Fuck everybody else, but never anybody else, but prove it to you. Progressive overload when we count. There you go. <laughs> What, uh, what fly do you like? Like a table, like a low, high to low, the table crossover? High, high to low. Yeah, there's a lot of different things. Actually, I want to see if there's something here. So do your sets one more set, I'll be right back. So I said, yeah. That's your better side. This is? Yes. Turn that arm a little more. There we go. That's for sure your better side. Your chest needs to be better on the side. Fuck, that's dry too. Well, it's Forward turn. Remember, hit your Christmas tree before opening up. There we go. Flat and exhausted.
this. I hate when people do this because it kills their symmetry. That's a body movement thing. But you can wiggle. Just to get this side flexing, that side flexing. Just wiggle just a little bit to make sure you're flickering on both sides. The more things that are moving around, the better you're going to score. The more conditioned you look, the more things that are flickering. I feel so good. fucking small. Oh, I, feel like I feel like I look like shit. It's crazy. It's relative. You look better than I've ever looked, but for you, you look like shit. <laughs> yeah. Let's go use your, your cardio. 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 Keto. Cardio cheese is, uh, yeah, it's an better. No, Brooklyn Square. Not even close. Brooklyn Square is fucking great. Do you eat no pizza? I fucking, and the pizza, the, you know, uh, what is it, One Bite? You know that app? Yeah. You have that app? Dave Portnoy? Yeah. That one? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a pizza snob. We're traitors. One Bite. Everybody knows the rules. <laughs> How could you do this? Eat your slice, boy. Not even good. I'm just kidding. No, you're not. Am I? Oh my god. I just wanted something salty. Look at the cheese pull. Seb's gonna be mad at you. You cannot show them this until after prep. Okay. One bite, everybody knows the rules. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, we've only gone to Brooklyn Square. You want me to try the pizza? No. So how the hell do you know it's not better? Because Brooklyn Square is fucking great. They don't make the same type of pizza. Different type of pizza. I'll bet you a hundred dollars that you think that Federico juice is better when you eat it. But it's a different type of pizza. Four pie. Brooklyn Square is the fucking thick. Oh, you mean Sicilian? Yeah, it's upside down. They have that's not pizza. pizza. That's a Sicilian. Yeah, but it's different. That's no, not pizza. That's the best Sicilian pizza I've ever had. Tell about you know pizza. That's not pizza. Have you ever had that? Yes, I've had everything. Actually, actually, the best squares are Spumoni Gardens in Brooklyn. You know even? New Haven, I haven't been to. You haven't, you haven't been to New Haven at all. No, I've heard, I've heard, I've heard about them now. New Haven style of pizza. Uh, Bleaker Street. Don's Bleaker Street. I heard about it. Heard about it. Oh, wait, no, in New York City, yes, yeah. I've been there. Drink me up. Honey, just got back home. It's 10 o'clock. Got one more meal. I'm gonna put that down. Just good old ground beef. We're only doing 96 crown beef now, so no more 93. Uh, so less fat, even less fat than before because I'm only having chicken and ground beef, so all my fats just come from pretty much the trace fats from that. So it's very low, pretty much all protein, no carbs. We're fully in ketosis basically, but for the next, not tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, Thursday and Friday, we're going to do a refeed. Tomorrow's going to be a rest day. Uh, refeed will be on the back and leg day, which you guys will probably see. Uh, Phil's going to send me the full protocol tomorrow uh, just to get things set up accordingly for peak week the following week because we're a week and a half out now. So, yeah, I mean, I don't really know exactly what the plan is. I'll know tomorrow, and you guys will obviously see that whole process as well. But... I am absolutely fucking exhausted. We did a lot of volume today. We went through posing. Um, my body's drained, cardio, driving, being in the car for four hours. So I am ready to just eat this last meal and go to fucking bed and get a good night sleep. Phil said to sleep in, so you know damn well I'm gonna take full advantage of that. And then tomorrow, we get a haircut. 